Hello friends, in this video now I am going to explain about the Smith rearrangement reaction. If you see this rearrangement reactions like Wolfman rearrangement, Hoffman rearrangement, Cartier's rearrangement and Smith rearrangement. So this Neymar reactions are both are equal but uh, there is a small changes in either conditions or uh, products or substrates. So this small changes will be there in this rearrangement reactions but both are uh, rearrangements are uh, same. So here we are using substrate is acid and condition is SD conditions here SD conditions but reagent this reagents you should know hydrozoic acid hydrozoic acid it's, it is a in situ in situ is nothing but it will comes under the reactions probably they will not give uh, uh, initially this hydrozoic acid so in in situ it will uh, uh, middle of the reactions it will comes and product is primary amines if you see this acid is treated with acid is treated with in the presence of hydrozoic acid then we can get primary amines so in this name, name uh, they, they will give directly hydrozoic they will not give directly hydrozoic acid they will give mostly NaNO3 plus H2SO4 acidic media then we can get see here H plus HSO4 minus am I right so in this Na N N3 in this Na plus HSO4 Na HSO4 plus N3 H this is for what hydrozoic acid so middle of the reaction it is formed so it when called as in situ so if you see the mechanism so that you can understand what is that exactly happening in this reaction mechanism if you see this reaction mechanism here i am going to take acid c double bond o h it is treated with N3H. So I I should write H N triple bond N plus minus. Right? I should write like this. This nucleophile like nucleophile is attacked on this carbonyl center and this bond is migrated here and this bond is migrated here and OH will leave. Here N n triple bond n h here you will get positive charge right so again this n2 will leave we'll get the product is nitrine so again this bond is migrated here and this bond is migrated towards this nitrogen then we can get isocyanate this is for what intermediate in mcq questions probably they will ask what is in smith rearrangement what is the intermediate will get either isocyanate or carbene or nitrine uh, so they will ask like that so you should remember that isocyanate is a intermediate if you are treated with a water so this lone pair of electrons is migrated towards this carbon and this bond is migrated towards the nitrogen then we can get n minus c double bond o o h h here we'll get positive charge because of this stability this hydrogen will leave and this nitrogen is ab abstract this hydrogen then we can get n h c double bond o OH. If you are, it is a lightly, slightly you will give the heating conditions. Then this bond is migrated here. This bond is migrated here. Minus CO2 will leave. Minus plus C double bond OOH. Am I right? So because of this stability, the hydrogen will leave here. Nitrogen will take this proton. Then finally we will get primary amine 
this is the primary amine if you see one more example so that you can understand more better when you are practicing more examples in this name of reactions you will get more clarity about those reactions which you are studying okay and we will see next to reaction next to example so here i am going to take one acid so it is treated with NaNO3 plus H2SO4 if they will give this type of reagent just you can assume that it will comes Na3 H hydrozoic acid so this hydrozoic acid I already uh, represented right this form should be like that here plus here negative this negative is attack on this carbonyl center and this bond is migrated here then we can get pH I will write like this here OH and N N triple bond N right this bond is migrated here and this bond will leave so we can get pH C double bond O N N triple bond N right so again this nitrogen will leave will get nitrines as it is this bond is migrated here and this bond is migrated towards the nitrogen then we can get isocyanide nitrogen C double bond O so again it is treated with a water molecule then you can get I will write directly C double bond O H so again it is treated with some heating condition then you can get pH NH2 plus carbon dioxide am I right so uh, it is also you can write NH2 primary amine so this is for what our product if you see one more example I will write here NaN3 plus H2SO4 so if you see here N3H hydrozoic acid if, if they will give ketones then we can get amides if they will give acid then we can we can get amines okay this is for what you should remember in this reaction if you see simply simple one step of reaction then you can introduce nh where it is in introduced whether it's this side or this side based on its stability you can introduce uh, uh, that side if you see both are same right so you can introduce in this side nh so this is for what our product again it is treated with a water molecule then we can get here it will break oh ch2 ch2 nh2 so this is for what our product right again uh, we can call it as nylon 6 because 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 carbons having a nylon 6 and if you see one more example here I'll give one more examples to you very simple reaction just to you can introduce based on your under based on um, for an, for your understanding i'll explain all the mechanism but very simple to write this uh, reaction hydrozoic acid so you see here you have a tertiary and here you have a secondary tertiary is more stable right so you can introduce nh here itself 
NH. So this is where what our product. So again in this reaction, here you have a ketones. So it is treated with a NH3. So here you can see here tertiary it is a uh, uh, primary. So you can introduce here. I hope you understand this reaction. NH. This is our product. Right? So this is for what uh, in this reaction. I hope you understand this reaction. If you are not understand let me know in a comment. So that I will explain better than uh, in this lecture. So thank you. Thanks for watching this video.